Well, let's go straight to the weather and Laura Tobin. Hello. Well, not great news across Scotland, I'm afraid, Sophie. There's more snow in the forecast. In the next 24 hours, we could see yet again another 15 to 30 centimetres. Now, it's all courtesy of this weather system. This cloud here represents where well, we've had the snow falling for a day at least. Another massive cloud into the south. That'll bring rain. I'll talk about that in just a moment, but we'll start with the massive rain, sleet, and snow across Scotland. Now, mostly around the southwest of Scotland and towards the coast, it's rain with a mixture of some sleet, a little bit sleety at the moment in Glasgow. It's inland and across higher ground where we have the heavier precipitation that it's falling as snow. Some of that snow will accumulate through the afternoon to at least a foot in places, strong winds causing it to drift. Not great news centrally. We still have the risk of further avalanches in the south, though, and around the coast, it will be a mixture of rain and sleet. Now, as I've said, we could see another 10 to 15 centimetres of snow to lower levels, 25, perhaps 30 centimetres more across higher ground, and that's exacerbated by these strong northeasterly winds, blizzard-like conditions, and we've seen that snow drifting, as we've heard, some places one, maybe two metres. But then we turn our attention to the other end of the country. All that cloud sweeping in later today will bring the risk of some heavy rainfall. The ground already very saturated across southern areas of England. Another 15 to 25 millimetres of rain will fall through the afternoon and on into this evening. Lighter rain down towards Cornwall and Devon, but nevertheless a wet afternoon to come here. Now overnight tonight these two weather systems collide. The rain in the south sweeps northwards, a wet night for many. The snow in the north gradually drifts a little further southwards. So for northern England, southern Scotland, here we have a risk of some snowfall developing overnight tonight. Now tomorrow England and Wales will start quite cloudy and wet, but that will clear east, the skies will brighten. But for Scotland, it is an improving story in the far north. That snow slowly sinks its way southwards. Tomorrow the snow risk will be northern England, southern Scotland and northern Ireland. We could see another 10, perhaps 15 centimetres on top of what we already have. Thankfully tomorrow evening this weather system we've had with us for days will gradually start to ease. So on Saturday that front will ease, but then on into the weekend a deep area of low pressure brings yet more wet weather in the south. Tightly packed ice above showing very windy as well. So the outlook in the south is for more wet weather to come, but across northern areas of the country we still have more snowfall.